Gosh, it's become a staple for people and their families when they come home or birthdays or anniversaries. It's fun to hear the stories when customers come in and say, okay, you know, I remember when I was younger and my parents would bring me here or I proposed to my wife in this area. I sort of feel like family when I come here because it's that kind of a place. It started on the row houses out by cement plants. Migrants from Europe and Mexico coming here. They were just predominantly men coming to work and Tony and Pete would feed them. Sometime in the 40s, they moved to a spot on, in the 1800 block of North Federal. And at that time, they bootlegged whiskey out of the basement and got into a little law trouble. Throughout the years, it became less migrants and more people that had more money, like doctors and lawyers and such. And it became kind of a, a little um, iconic, let's get together at the steakhouse. People call sometimes and ask what our dress code is. And it really is truly people come in for homecoming, for prom, and they're all dressed up. Or you have maybe the construction workers or the nurses, you know, who just come off their shift and they're sitting and nobody feels underdressed or overdressed. We look forward to seeing the families come in and they look forward to seeing us as well. It's kind of um, amazing that we hit a hundred year mark. And now it's like we're starting all brand new. This is crazy after COVID hit. I mean, it was just like, you know, everything's fine. We're looking forward to the summer. We're looking forward to this great 100 year birthday party, you know, <laughs> like, oh man. And then COVID hits and we're closed for 10 weeks. There's hundreds of restaurants gone just in Iowa because of COVID. Mason City and North Iowa and Southern Minnesota been so supportive and so helpful and so patient and we've had a really good feedback about how well curbside has gone. But now we're nervous because we gotta go open to dine in and we're gonna do it soon. <laughs> so um, we're hoping to be able to do that right. Now Bill would say We've worked hard. We really have worked hard. Anne and the staff, everyone here is so friendly and so accommodating and they get, it's well run. It's a well run machine. They give back a lot to the community as well. Um, they're very welcoming to their staff, to their patrons. You know, it just, it has become like a little family and a little staple of, you know, and that's due to their dedicated and their hard work. I don't think I can put that into words how much that means to us, so. Um, really touched we are to get this honor and know that they feel that much, that, that passion, as much passion for the steakhouse as we do. Mm -hmm. It means a lot. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. We just want to keep it going. So working on that part too, and hopefully the steakhouse can continue another hundred years.